Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Aries EDC. Please check out uh, my Patreon. Link is in the description. It's a good way to support the channel. Also, subscribe to the channel. You're missing cool content if you're not already subscribed about what I'm doing. Um, today I'm unboxing this knife, but normally I'm making knives like these. Um, so, if you're interested in following along from start to finish on how I'm making my little EDC size fixed blades, you got to subscribe to the channel. So, got this package in and I know what it is and I'm kind of excited to get into it. Um, it's an opportunity that someone in the community has given me to take a look at a knife that um, honestly I was interested in looking at. I just wasn't able to purchase it. Um, so I'm going to open it up as gentle as possible without showing too much information. So we'll do that and see what's inside. Um, let's see. Ooh, got some little extra goodies in there. All right. So what do we have in here? So first of all, this knife comes to us from... Casey over at Knives Fast. Um, this is one of his designs for Tempest Knives. So if you don't, if you don't already know, you got to check out TempestKnives.com. Check them out. Their Casey is designing some really awesome stuff, including one that I have here that he thought that I would like. So I'm going to leave those right there for you guys. And so let's see what did he sent he sent this guy over um i have been really interested in checking this out uh, i believe this is one of his personal ones so i'll i'll be i'll be kind <laughs> uh, i will definitely be kind um but he designed this knife and I have been interested to take a look at it. He has said some wonderful things about it. And I was interested in just, you know, checking it out. He said he would send it to me, to me to take a look at. And this, if you don't know, is his Dust Devil. Um, I own one of his micro bursts, which I purchased myself. And I love it. It's awesome. It's a fidget killer. Just so fidgety. And this is his first production fixed blade that he made and I'm kind of excited to check it out. He included the soft belt loop which he knows I'm a fan of and he's a fan of as well. Uh, these things make things so much easier um, to take care of and to work with so it's a great addition to any little fixed blade. Uh, great little sheath. I think these were made by Kubi if, I, if I'm correct. I like how they have the little hole there. Um, I probably should start doing that on mine uh, because I do my sheaths. Let's see, what's a good one? I have my sheaths right here and I think I need to start drilling holes right at the tip just to give it that extra little ventilation. And if moisture does get in there, it gives it some place for it to go. So let's take a look at the blade itself. Yep, like I said, Made by Kubi, but designed by Casey over at Tempest Knives. And that's his little logo. Um, 14C28N, which is an amazing steel. I love it. Um, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that is really good, Casey. Um, so it is a full four fingers, which is good. Um, Nice jimping, but it's not like overly jimped. Um, nice narrow blade. That is very comfortable in the hand, Casey. That is very, very comfortable in the hand. He sent the one with the red micarta. So it's pretty awesome. Removable handle scales. Uh, nice big long lanyard holes for those of you guys who like to add the little doodads on the end of them. Um, is that has his design style written all over it with the shape of this up here and the blade. It's very excellent. Here's here is my concern. 
this is my concern with any fixed blade that personally I'm going to carry. So this is just me personally. Any fixed blade that I feel like I'm gonna be comfortable to carry, I want it to be a nice slim package that disappears and I don't even know I'm carrying it. And the reason that I was curious with this one is because although it's long, let's look at it. This is just an unboxing and first impressions, by the way, this is not a review. Um, it's seven inches overall, just about seven inches. So kind of, you know, that, that's got some length to it, but I will, it has to be a nice slim package that is easy to carry and just disappears. So he has it set up to scout carry it, whether you're carrying it on the front, the back, the side, however you want to carry it. I carry my fixed blades on the front right side draw. So what I'm going to have to do is take this, flip it around so that the button's over here so that I, if you're looking, if I'm looking straight down, I'm pulling it with my right hand. I'm getting it right here and that's where I'm carrying it right in the front of my body. That's where I like to carry it. But that is a nice long blade. Let's look at just the blade length. What was just the blade length? Coming back up. Just a little over if you're measuring the actual sharpened edge is about is exactly three inches. Um, so we'll call it a three inch blade um, overall. But like I said, it might be three inches, but that profile is a very thin profile and uh, it is very comfortable in the hand. Um, my, like I said, my only concern is when you get a fixed blade and it's a full four fingers, then it gets kind of long. And if I'm gonna carry this appendix on the front, I don't know how that's gonna carry. So I'm gonna be curious to carry it. Maybe tomorrow, I've just gotta to go to the grocery store and do some simple things, so nothing crazy. Maybe I'll carry it. Um, definitely not taking it to work because I don't wanna mess it up at work. Uh, but definitely an interesting thing for me to check out. So. Casey, if you're watching this, thank you very much for sending this along for me to check out. I really appreciate it. Um, looking forward to experiencing this for the next couple of days to see what it's like to carry. And I'll try to get this one back to you unscathed and as quickly as possible. But so far, first impressions, very comfortable in the hand. Nice tight little package. Nice size blade to get into anything. Um, we'll see how it is to carry and to experience. So really looking forward to this, the Kubi Dust Devil. Um, I'll try to put some links in the description of this video if I can find any of where this one is available. Um, I'm not sure if they are, if, if not, um, yep. I won't put any links, but just in case, I'll try to do some research and see if I can find any link buddy who has one, and I'll put it in there. What do you guys think? The Dust Devil. I know they've been around, but they've been out for a while, but he offered to send one along my way, thinks it would be something for me to check out, and I really appreciate it. The One thing I just realized, the scales are contoured. They're not very much. It's a very slight contour, but they do have a little swell right in the middle. You can see it in the micarta, that circle. So they have actually rounded it off just a little bit in the middle for that little swell right there in the palm. And that is an excellent right, right in the palm of your hand where it's excellent to do so. I'm really interested in working, carrying this and experiencing this. It looks like a great finish on it. You got that kind of stonewashed finish on that blade. So I like the way they did that. And again, that nice swedge at the top relieves some weight to that blade, but also give it a unique look. And that is 
typical of Tempest designs and Casey's designs on a lot of his knives. They kind of come down and then they go back up. They tilt up again. That's kind of his design style, which is really, really cool. And in the hand makes 100% sense. So looking forward to getting it. Thank you for sending this along, Casey. I'm going to look forward to taking a look at it and experiencing it for the next couple days. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. As I said, please subscribe, like, leave a comment or not. That choice is yours.